Now let's take a minute to describe how we use vectors to orient a hinge in OpenVSP. In the hinge box, if you click on the Orient tab and activate the Vector radio button, you'll see that all of these options become active and you can start to describe a direction vector using the Vector 3D type as your axis. Notice that your transform rotations are now deactivated because we're using these settings to describe where this axis is going to go. Now, notice that if I start to give this a little bit of Y displacement, and in fact, let's just set this to one to one. This is a 45 degree from the X axis. So all we're doing is describing the X, Y, and Z vector in this case, absolute space. You can also choose to tell uh, relative displacement. So in this case, let's say 0 0.5, and if we make these equal, 0 0.5, you're going relative from this point, but notice how on the other side, whichever one is inactive is automatically computing the unit normal values for X, Y, and Z. So it does this for you automatically. Now, another thing that we need to keep in mind is what we're using for our axis and what we're using as our reference, okay? So in this case, notice that we're using the x-axis to rotate about, and we're using the y-axis as our reference. Now the reference is where the zero rotation occurs. If we come to motion and start to increase the angle, notice that we're describing an angle from here to here. You can see the transformed position and the zero position. In the Orient tab, you also have access to something called the reference vector. And this is simply describing where in space, this y-axis happens to be. So watch what happens if we change this to z. The y-axis where zero occurs is now aligned with the z direction in space. So it went ahead and gave an additional 90 degree rotation on top of what your motion prescribes. So it's important to understand where you're choosing a reference vector within your system here, and then what direction that reference vector points, okay? So now that we've established that, you understand how to set a reference vector direction for a hinge without having to use the transform tabs.